going on? This your boy Katie number six. I appreciate everybody taking the time out to check my videos out. YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Y'all make sure y'all go back and check out my other video. All right, let's check this out. I'm about to drop my video uh, about the top reasons why you should move to a loan. But unfortunately, prior to the video, one of my homeboy and somebody I went to school with got killed uh, last night. So I had to drop a video because this is like the third person that I know that don't got killed within the uh, six month uh, time time span. You know what I'm saying? All right, so check this out, man. Look, I just want to let everybody know, especially black men. Look, bro. Stop letting the people rig really y'all up to get killed, bro. Uh, Enough of this uh, killing people for dead, homie. You know, I'm sorry about your homie, bro. But somebody got to be uh, the biggest, you know what I'm saying, the biggest man to be like, look, the only way I'm going to wreck my homie is I prove them dude wrong and I make it up out the hood. Okay? Check this out. When you make it up out the hood, bro, do not get on Instagram, do not get on Facebook, and do not get on Twitter and start picking at the same neighborhood that you just made it up out of. Because people gonna hold you accountable for that. And I'm not saying it's right, but that's just how life feels. You, you know what I'm saying? You set yourself up to become a target. You know? So remember that. So remember the next time that you wanna flash your money, flash your jewelry, and pick at people that you were just in the same situation as they were. You just got lucky and somebody helped you out. So remember that, because you will become a target, you know, and a lot of these, and a lot of these people, they find out the hard way, you know, it don't matter who you are, bro, you can't, you know what I'm saying, you, the internet has fooled people, making people think they are God for real, thinking that people won't kill them, thinking people won't rob you, see, you got it wrong, see, you got, people got to learn self weight reality for what's not real, the internet and Facebook and Twitter, that shit is not real. The only thing you doing is you open up a door into your life into a millions of strangers that you don't know. And another thing, bro, uh, I want to tell, I want to, uh, you know what I'm saying, let uh, people know that don't know. Look, bro, if somebody got a weapon, a gun, do not walk up on that person, bro. What are you trying to prove? You know, you want to prove so everybody that you gonna get killed, you know, I guarantee you, bro, that you ask a lot of them people that dead, you know, as to how they feel, I guarantee you, they would tell you, I, I would change, you know, so I would change my decision that day. I see too many people now that don't, that don't got so bold that they walk up to people with guns. Let me tell you a story of what happened to me. So, I had this little Fort Lift job, and it was this dude that came from Flint, Michigan. I ain't gonna call him out. That's not important. But they wanted to fight this dude. And me being the person who I am, I help people. See, I ain't never one of them people on Facebook that talk, I always scream about helping the next black man, and then, you know what I'm saying, get in the real life, and people, you know what I'm saying, and do the opposite thing, see. I'm a man of my word. But get back to the story. They were finna fire this dude, right? So I went in, out my way, and talked to them folks. And told the people, you know, don't fire. Maybe he nervous. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, uh, y'all were looking at him. Uh, you know, maybe he got nervous. So they gave the dude another chance, and they moved the dude across the street. Okay? Fast forward, uh probably about three, four months later, all right? They moved me across the street. It's this girl that uh, worked up, okay? I got a cousin over there too, right? So, I get over there, you know, the girl, the girl, you know, the girl digging, me and my cousin, cause, you know, I was swag. He's from Flint, Michigan. So, dude, dude long story short, dude don't like it. So, he made a big argument out of bullshit. And I'm just gonna get right to the point. The point of the story is, the nigga had a pistol, right? I'm hot-headed. Everybody know me tell you that. I'm hot-headed. You know? The dude had a pistol. But, I had to think about it. Lose my temper to prove something to people that don't give a fuck about me. 
I'll live to see another day. I choose uh, number two, live to see another day. Because, bro, I don't give a fuck how, how good you can fight. Uh, what your reputation is, you know, you cannot, you know what I'm saying, uh, outmaneuver somebody with, uh, that got a pistol, man, you ask and get killed. Uh, that's why I keep saying, man, uh, stop letting people on the internet uh, boost y'all up like y'all gods and shit. Y'all can't be touched, y'all can't be killed because it's a lie, bro. And this is the last thing I want to address, bro. Uh, people that rap, movie star, uh, that's what they are. Uh, people that rap and movie star, they, they're for entertainment. Uh, that means that when you get off of work and you need something to uh, release the stress or you need something to do, then you go pop in uh, a movie or you cut on the radio. What I'm trying to say here, bro, stop uh, letting other people keep saying that they divorcing you. You know, every man should have their own voice, you know. I don't think that doing is, that shit is putting a stereotype on black men. Cause every time we go out, we always got somebody trying to look at us sideways. We always got somebody trying to judge us. All because of shit that we see on TV, listen to the radio, and what's on the internet. You understand what I'm saying? So, just like I said, that's my first and only enlightening video. I ain't trying to snitch at nobody. I ain't trying to preach nobody. I ain't trying to do nothing that, bro. I just feel like there's a lot of videos out like there that telling you how to get killed, but ain't no videos. Ain't nobody telling you, man, look, cut it with the bullshit, bro. You know, that shit don't went on long enough. Uh, if you get killed, or you kill somebody, the system will warn. You know, they got real, uh, a, you know, the person that dead gone, and now they finna get real of you. See what I'm saying? Don't play it to the system, bro. Don't rush yourself to the grave, cause I'ma tell you this, a lot of people um, would not tell you, and you won't know because you're dead. The world will keep on spinning, bro. People will mourn you, people will mourn you like they mourn everybody else for a week. And then it's over. And that once a year when your birthday uh, come around, you might have this one person that might remember your birthday then, you know, the next troll, until you have a birthday and so forth and so forth. You know what I'm saying? The moral of the story, bro, is yeah. the people in the grave could have been the people alive that could have uh, uh, had a cure for cancer, had a cure for AIDS. Uh, they could have stopped war, war, uh, world hunger. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? We'll never know because they did. Feel what I'm saying? And here's the last enlightened tip I'm going to give. I'm gonna give you look. Remember this, bro, for you rush to your grave. You will be dead longer than you are alive. I'm gonna repeat this one more time. You will be in your grave longer than what you are alive. Cause they've been, man, bro, the people been dead thousands of years. Thousands of years. You mean tell me you wanna rush to get to that? Start using your head, bro. And stop letting people get y'all killed, bro. You know? I'm just gonna put it out there being a black man. Look, I love my life just like you love your life. I'm not finna go out there directly. I'm not finna go out there and get killed. So stop telling me to go out here and do this and that, and you not gonna go out there and do it. You think I'm stupid? Jamal right. And we out. Y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna drop that video.